morning my dear students this today's lecture is on uh, uh, determinants and mathematics this is the course of btech mechanical engineering program uh, the, uh, the, the course code is bme001 that is engineering mathematics the unit 10 that is determinants and uh, matrices and determinants uh, actually what happened today uh, uh, the, uh, uh, this program was at 4 to 445 but uh, due to some uh, problems we have uh, uh, pre-pawned this uh, class in the morning. So, uh, uh, please, uh, to, uh, please cooperate for this inconvenience. So, now I will take uh, mathematics on the board. So, actu so actually first of uh, this uh, program is, this course is on in, uh, engineering mathematics that is uh, unit 10 that is matrices and determinants. First of all we have to understand the what is the matrices. Matrices in the, sen in the sense first of all any first of all we have to uh, make the ma uh, matrices first we have to uh, we know the equations like this x plus y plus 3y is equal to 0 or uh, you can say 2 th 2x plus 4y plus uh, z z equal to 0 like that 5x plus 2y plus z 2z is equal to 0. So, this we have to solve in the uh, uh, matrices form. So, first of all we have to make the this in the matrices form. So, how the matrices will be formed? Matrix is a set of real and complex numbers arranged in rows and columns to form a rectangular array. So, like this equations we will get we, we can uh, we have to arrange in the matrix form. So, how the matrix will form we have to arrange the this cofactors of this equation in the equation form and keep it in the brackets that is called the matrix. So, how we will form the matrix we will see. So, here so uh, for cofactor for this x is that is uh, 1 and y also 1 and z it is 3 and next equation for second equation it is 2 4 and y like that it is third equation that is 5 2 2. So, like this we have to form the uh, matrices this is called a matrix. So, how the matrix will be formed and uh, what are the columns this is the these are the rows how many rows are there 3 rows and how many columns are there 3 columns. So, like that this is a matrix. So, matrix this is a math matrix. So, after study after studying this mathematics you will be able to understand mat matrix and its applications, compute the inverse of a matrix and uh, also we can calculate the determinants, adjoint of a matrix and also inverse of a matrix. So, first we will go for so he, now we have formed the mathematics and then we have to know the order of a matrix. So, suppose this is what is the order of matrix? Order C is we can say that now uh, what are the x uh, depending upon the so how many rows are there so three rows so suppose you can say this is three rows and three columns so we will say that three into three order matrix or suppose there, there are number of rows and number of columns are there so suppose you can say uh, like that m number of rows are there and m n number of columns are there so that is we say that m into n order matrix. So, that we do not know up to uh, m rows will be there and n columns will be there. So, then we will call it as a m into n order uh, matrix. So, like that this is the order of a matrix. Then we will go for, uh, so in this suppose you can write a matrix here. That is 6, 2, 3, 1 5. So, how we will say uh, uh, what is the order of this matrix? Suppo so, we, we will say we have to see how many number of rows are there. So, here how many number of rows are there? 1, 2 and 3. So, we are writing 3 rows and how many columns are there? That is 2. So, that is why we are calling it as 2 into 3 into 2 order matrix. I think now you understand about the matrix and how we will form a matrix. So, in this like this we have to form the matrix. So, and uh, and we know that 
we are uh, we understood that how wha, how we call it as a matrix and what is the order of that matrix so depending upon the number of rows and number of columns we will say that this is a, a number um, uh, three numbers uh, three number of columns are there and three number of rows are there that's why we are calling it as 3 into 3 matrix like that 4 into 3 matrix 2 into 2 matrix or sometimes one matrix one one into uh, four col uh, four matrix that is one column matrix and uh, that will come to know that in the different types of matrices so then next we'll go for the types of matrices types of matrices so there are various number of matrices are there in that we will see so, uh, simple forms are there one is row matrix that is that having only one uh, uh, one row so that's why we are calling it as suppose say x y z comma t or you can say that uh, 2 comma 3 uh, so 2 3 4 5 like this or you can say null mat like 0 0 0 so like this this is the only one row we are having that's why we are calling it as row matrix and then we'll go for the column matrix that is column matrix In the column matrix it has only one column in that 1 2 3 4 like this only one column will be there that's why we are calling it as column matrix and then the null matrix null matrix null matrix is nothing but the all the matrix should contain only zeros that's why we are calling it as a null matrix so in the null matrix all the elements will be zero so that's why we are calling it as null matrix then the square matrix what is the square matrix the square matrix is comprises of like a square so we can say that the square how uh, 3 5 4 so this is we are calling it as 2 into 2 order matrix and square matrix uh, it should uh, it should look like a square that's why we are calling it as a square matrix or you can say in the 3 into 3 order also we can write so this is a 3 into 3 order square matrix so these are the different types of matrices in, in this another type is there then we will go for that is diagonal matrix that is diagonal diagonal matrix in the diagonal matrix the all the elements will be uh, remaining all the uh, in the diagonal only the elements will be there and remaining elements will be zero so so like uh, how we will write that is 1 0 0 0 3 0 and 0 0 9 so the uh, the elements in the diagonal uh, are having the numbers and remaining elements will be zero that's why we are calling it as uh, 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 a diagonal matrix so these are the types of matrices are there and another type matrix is the uh, unit matrix okay suppose unit or identity unit or identity matrix identity matrix so how it forms the unit matrix is nothing but uh, the all the elements will be zero only in the diagonal form it is having only unit that is one so that's why we are calling it only one will be there in the um, uh, diagonal form so that's why we are calling it as a unit matrix or you can say identity matrix this is a very important concept here the unit matrix this will be coming in the further uh, studies 
so everywhere it will come so we will use in the solving the problems so that that's why we have to remember this what is the unit matrix that is our identity matrix here like that we can write another uh, unit matrix so this is the another unit matrix this we can uh, indicate it with i so this is the unit or identity matrix so these are the types of matrices so students now you have understood about the where what are the, how the uh, matrix will be formed and how the uh, what are the various types of matrices and how we will solve it and in this uh, we will uh, know some other problems like uh, we have to solve the problems we have to find out uh, inverse of the matrix and determinants of the matrix and uh, you can say adjoint of a matrix and uh, like that and la later we will also solve the some question paper in this so first we will uh, uh, learn about the transpose of a matrix these are the types of matrices now we are covered then we will go for the transpose of a matrix. So, the transpose of a matrix, what is the transpose of a matrix? Transpose of a matrix. transpose if the rows and columns of a matrix are interchanged the first row becomes the first column and the second row becomes the second column and the third row becomes the third column etc then the new matrix so formed is known as the transpose of a uh, uh, original matrix thus we will indicate like that suppose a matrix uh, we will say so here in the transpose of a matrix what is the uh, all the uh, first we will take uh, by example only we will able to understand better in this what happens suppose you take a matrix so this is a, uh, a 3 into a 3 into 2 order matrix so suppose if you take this one and we want to know about the transpose so how many number of uh, rows are there three number of rows are there and two number of columns are there so we have we want to know the transpose of this matrix so how the transpose will be formed in this the transpose will be all the rows will become columns and columns will become rows so first we will change change the this row into column so 2 3 and then 4 5 and then 9 and 7 so this is the transpose of a matrix a, a is the matrix and transpose of this a is will uh, will indicate it as a at so that's why uh, it is uh, we are changing that rows into columns and columns into rows so this is the form this is the transpose of a matrix and then uh, orthogonal matrix here this is the transpose of a matrix then we will go for orthogonal matrix so what is the orthogonal matrix that here uh, in the orthogonal matrix we are, uh, that is indicated same like that we suppose you take how the, the condition for orthogonal matrix is condition for the condition is A into A transpose A into A transpose equal to I. So, what does it mean? So, in the orthogonal matrix what happens suppose we, we know about the one matrix we will find out the transpose of a matrix and multiplying uh, matrix into transpose of a matrix we will get the i that is identity matrix. So, then we will call it as the orthogonal matrix. So, this is the orthogonal matrix this is the condition for orthogonal matrix. So, I think you have understood about the transpose of how the transpose will become uh, will make the transpose and then how we will find out a uh, orthogonal matrix uh, how we will know that this is the orthogonal matrix and um, this is the transpose of a matrix that we have uh, understood so then we have to find out the determinants so determinants of a matrix the so, transpose of a matrix is the orthogonal matrix
we have to find out the determinants of a determinants of a matrix. So, suppose we will uh, take one example. that is a matrix A two three four one five seven nine two five. So this is a matrix. So we have to find value of how we will find the determinant of a matrix. So debt will say that debt A or you can write it as A in the mod A. So, that is why determinants, we can say it a determinant will be shown like this. So, the, uh, how we will find out the determinant we will uh, we'll, uh, find out. So, first you will take the first element of uh, the first we have to find out the cofactors of a cofactors of a matrix. So, in that uh, to determine that first we have to take this uh, this element. So, in the by uh, taking this element, we have to cancel this uh, uh, this row and this column, this row and this column. So, we'll uh, the remaining elements will be 5, 7, 2, 5. So, for this, we have to find out the determinant. So, 5, 5s are 25, minus 7, 2s are 14, then minus, then we will take 3, this column and this row. So, we will multiply with 3 and uh, the we will cancel this row and this column. So, with the remaining elements will be 1 into 7 and uh, 9 into 5. So, 5 ones are 5 minus 9 sevens are 63 like that. Then next fourth element also that, that we have to find out the third element that is 4. So, this uh, uh, this row will be cancelled, this column will be cancelled and this row will be cancelled and the remaining elements will be this 4. So, 2 1s are 2 minus 9 5s are 45. So, like this we have to find out the determinant. So, what will be the determinant here? That is uh, 1 1 minus that is here minus 13 uh, 8 this is 58 plus 4 here minus 43. So, we will get around 22 minus uh, here minus into minus plus 3 is a 4 to 174 like that here it will press into minus. So, minus 4 3 is a 12 1 4 4 is 16 17. So, this is a uh, here what we will get 196 minus 172 that is 4 2 this is the 24 is the determinant of a matrix A the, like this we will find out the matrices. So, uh, determinant of a matrix I think you have understood about how we will find out the determinant. So, determinants will be uh, calculated we can denote it as a debt A or you can say mod A most of the uh, we are using mod A nowadays and uh, you can uh, how we will calculate this first you will take this 2, two into uh, cross, cross multiplication and we will get the this equation. So, like this we will find out the uh, uh, value of a data of a matrix. Then we will go for uh, addition and subtraction of a matrices. Now, we find out the a determinant of a matrix and then we will go for the how we will add a matrix or how we will subtract it that is simple one that uh, that is already explained even though I will show some simple uh, addition of addition and subtraction. That is suppose in the addition addition of addition of a matrix, addition of two matrices suppose it a matrices ok. Suppose you know uh, if you know that A plus B that is equal to A B. So, uh, we have to uh, know the 
suppose we take A is equal to simple matrix 1, 2, 3, 4 like that then we have to add it and uh, suppose say 4, 3, 2, 1 ok. So, this we have to add it. So, how we will add it? This, these are the matrices A and B. So, we have to get A B. How? Simply we are adding one uh, the same columns of uh, first uh, first row and first column of matrix in uh, plus second row of uh, first uh, second row of first element. So, the, what is the total of that? 4 into 1 that is so suppose you can say 1 plus 4 you can write 2 plus 3 that is 2 plus 3 like that 3 plus 2 3 plus 2 like 4 plus 1 4 plus 1. So, like this the uh, addition will be taken place addition of a matrix that is 5 5. So, this this is the this uh, how we will add the matrix. So, suppose you uh, say that these are the same uh, the rows and columns are same in these two matrices. Suppose if we, uh, if uh, the difference in the, uh, the matrices columns and uh, and rows then how we will add suppose you take 2 3 4 5 1 6 and uh, you can say 2 3 1 4. So, here how we will add it? So, this cannot be added because this is the number of rows and number of columns are not equal. So, here the some sometime you will confuse. So, uh, that is why I have shown. So, the number of columns and number of col uh, rows will be uh, similar. Then only we'll, we can add. Here it is not possible. Then subtraction of a matrix. Suppose uh, we take subtraction subtraction of a subtraction of a matrix ok. Suppose you take uh, the rectangular matrix 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4 plus 9, 2, 1, 3, 1, 5 that is equal to so sim, sim, uh, similar we have to add 1 plus 9 and that is equal to so 10, so 2 plus 2 that is 4, uh, 3 plus 1 that is 4, like that 2 plus 3 that is 5, same 3 plus 1 that is 4 and 4 plus 5 that is 9. This is the, the sub, oh sorry sir, place I am adding, so we have to subtract. So, I will subtract. So, 1 minus 9 that is that will get that is 8, 2 minus 2 that is 0, uh, 3 minus 1 that is 2 and 2 minus 3 minus 1, 3 minus 1 that is 2, 4 minus 5 that is that is minus 1. This is the matrix, the subtraction of a matrix. How we will subtract? Addition of a matrix and this is the subtraction of a matrix. Then like that we will go for a addition and subtraction then multiplication. Multiplication of a multiplication of matrices. So, suppose you take uh, A, suppose you take a matrix A that is 2, 4, 1, 5. So, we are going to multiply with uh, some uh, element or sometimes you can multiply with A into A or sometimes you can say that uh, uh, you can we need some 5A, what is 5A like that you, you have to know or you can say sometimes A square, what is the A square or you can say that a to the power of 5, how we will find out A to the power. Like this, we have to uh, find out how we multiply. So, suppose first you take, we have to multiply, uh, find out 5A. So, simply we have to multiply 5 with all elements. So, that we will get 5 into 2, 10, 5 into 
4 25 into 1 5 5 like this we have to multiply total when we are uh, sorry multiplying with 5 we will get the five, this matrix so like that if you know we want to know that a square or sometimes a into b also we have to find out the different matrices will be there what is the matrix of a uh, a into b so if you know that here b also given then b is 3 5 6 4 so we have to find out a into b here how we will find out so you can say a into b here we will write so a 2 4 1 5 into b 3 5 and 6 4 so that is equal to how we will say that uh, we have to multiply the this total uh, row with this total column so like that same again uh, mm, uh, multi again I will show by showing uh, you will better understand so I will show that 2 into 3 that is 6 plus 4 into 6 we have to multiply this row with this column and adding so uh, you understand I think so to find out this element so 2 into 3 plus 4 into 6 that is 4 6 are 24 so by adding these two we will get the this element first element of a b so then again same we have to multiply again with this row with this column to get the second element so how what is this 2 5 is a 10 plus 4 4 is a 16 same we have to multiply again we have to multiply this row with this column and again this uh, this column so so 1 3 is a 3 plus 5 6 are 30 and same 1 5 is a 5 plus 5 4 is a 20 so in this way we will calculate the uh, tot, uh, a into b multiplication of a matrices so here what is the uh, total that is 30 is 26 here 33 and 25 this is the matrix a b multiplication of a matrix in this way we will uh, uh, denote the uh, how we will calculate the matrices in multiplication of a matrices and then uh, sometimes we have to uh, get multiplication and division like that some equation will be given for that also we have to solve the problem of a matrices here one example is given in the uh, what is this example 10.1 here example 10.1 is given so what is that if 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 a is equal to 0 2 3 2 1 4 or you can say take some other elements also but only I will to take this here 7 6 3 1 4 5 find uh, 3a minus b so what what is the we have to find out this equation this is nothing but we have to first of all we have to what we have to do multiply with uh, 3 with the, uh, with this matrix and then we'll um, uh, whatever the matrix will get the from that we have to uh, um, subtract this matrix so we'll get the 3a minus b so how we'll do here so we have to uh, uh, this is same to it uh, this is also what you can say uh, 2 row 2 2 into 3 matrix and this is also same 2 into 3 matrix so we can multiply this matrix so how we will multiply first three, uh, first of all we have to multiply we have to find out 3a that is how 3a will we get so multiplying 3 with uh, with this matrix will get the total matrix that is 3 into 0 0 only 3 2 is a 6 3 3 is a 9 3 2 is a 6 3 1s are 3 3 4s are 12 this is the 3a 
So, we have to uh, subtract this matrix from this that is 7, 6, 3, 1, 4, 5. So, uh, we will get 3A minus B. So, how much we are getting? 0 minus 7, uh, minus 7, 6 minus 6, 0, 9 minus 3, uh, 6 and uh, this is 5, 6 minus 1, 5, 3 minus 4, minus 1, 12 minus 5, that is uh, 7. So, this is the equation, the, uh, the in the question it has given that find the 3A minus B. So, like that we will calculate the uh, this equation. So, I think you have understood about the multiplication, addition of a matrices and then uh, determinant of a matrices. Further, we will go for Determinants. We can say some uh, uh, different Laplace transformation method is there. So, and another is uh, cofactor method. So, uh, find out the determinants of a cofactor of a uh, matrices. So, in this, here suppose you take matrices cofactor method in that uh, what we will do we have to find out total cofactors of a that matrix and then we have to find out the determinants and then in this also one uh, uh, different met method is there in that we will find out that that is also known as a Kramer's rule in that we will learn some uh, by solving some problems so for that we have to find uh, take one uh, determinant determinants of a uh, uh, Laplace transformation or you can say that Kramer's rule. So, suppose det finding determinants with the Kramer's rule. Finding determinant of a of a matrix uh, with Kramer's rule, Kramer's rule. So, in this first we have to know the, uh, uh, suppose you can say a matrix is there, that is 1, 3, 5, 2, 1, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is a matrix. So, first of all we have to find out the cofactors for every element. So, how we will find out that cofactors and uh, then we have to for suppose you can say that cofactor x you can say uh, like that first of all find out we have to determine it, we have to find and uh, suppose it is given like that we have to find, suppose it is given x and y z so in that in that sense we have to find out the x y and z values so for that we have to know the equation Kramer's rule in that Kramer's rule what uh, what we can write that x equal to delta x by delta. So, what is this delta is the the determinant of a matrix delta is the determinant of a matrix and delta x is the uh, so first uh, suppose you can say this is also equal to some 1, 2, 3, it is given. So, the, the equation will be given like that and we have to find out the uh, elements of a, these matrices. In that sense, we have to calculate uh, the determinants for this is the determinant and this is the determinant for the uh, x, x value. So, here these elements will be ch uh, changed, these elements will be removed and these elements will be kept here. So, for by finding the determinant, we will get this one and with original determinant, that is uh, indicate with delta. So, like this we have to find out, then we, we want to find out y that is delta y and delta and same for delta z that is delta z and delta. So, so how the delta x, how uh, here we will find out the same like the determinant only that is nothing but delta is the determinant of this matrix 1, 3, 5 and 2, 1, 
3 and 4, 5, 6. So, this is the determinant of a matrix. How we will find out the determinant? So, determinant earlier we have no, uh, we understood that earlier how we will find out the determinant. So, for this delta uh, determinant we have to find out and the same for delta x also we have to find how the delta x will be formed. So, delta x will be formed by taking the these elements here instead of the x elements. So, here we will uh, substitute, we remove these elements and uh, substitute these elements here in the total equation 1, 3 and the same 3, 1, 5, the same 5, 3, 6. So, like this. So, this is the delta x. In the same sense, at the at these elements will be removed and this uh, will be kept here. So, then we will get the delta y that is equal to 1, 2, 4 and then 1, 2, 3 and the same 5, 3, 6 like this the delta x delta y and delta z will be find out. The whatever the elements will come we will kept in the this equation and we will find out the values of a uh, x, x, y, z. Suppose some equation will be there. So, here one solve example will be there or we can solve another different problem it is given in this uh, the SAQs self answer questions are given here we will take some example what is this find the value of a determinant of a matrix A and hence using the Cramer's rule or otherwise the solving uh, the following system of equations. So, suppose if you take ok we will take one another example. Solve the following system by Cramer's rule. Cramer's Cramer's rule. Okay. So, what is the? Uh, just now we have understood about the Cramer's rule. In that, first of all, the equations given is two x minus y plus 3z is equal to 2 the same x plus 3y minus z is equal to 11 like that 2x minus 2y plus 5z is equal to 3. So, this is the equation and we have to solve it by finding the delta x and delta are determinants of a this matrix and first of all we have to form this matrix and then we will find out the determinants and then we will uh, find out the x what are the values of by solving or we can we know that how we will solve this by general rule also. So, instead of that in the matrices form how we will solve here we will learn. So, first uh, what we will do we have to find out uh, we have to first we have to form the matrix here. Uh, Okay. Then uh, here we will find out uh, first of all we have formed the equation. So, how we will form earlier we have find out the equation uh, uh, matrices we have to form. So, here first what are the factor cofactors of these elements that we have to write here. So, here well, what we will write uh, 2 minus 1 here the x factor is 2. So, that is why we are writing this is the place that is why writing here plus and this is minus. So, minus 1 like that here it is plus 3 and then it is 1 for this it is 3 and this minus 1 like that this is 2 minus 2 and this is 5. Okay. Then we will write here 2, 11, 3. Okay. This is the form of a Cramer's rule or forming of a matrix. So,
So, this is the matrix, how we are forming the matrix. Then, we have to find out the determinant for the this matrices. So, first we will take delta or you can write the mod A. So, so we have to find or we can say that A, determinant of A. So, in this way we will indicate, achha, time is over. Okay. Ah, okay. Continue. Next session. Achha, achha. Okay. Uh, this is the first session we have completed, and the next session also will continue. In the next session, we, uh, it, it will start at uh, uh, 12 o'clock. In that, we will solve the uh, uh, problems of uh, some question papers. So, uh, this session will be uh, stopped for, for 15 minutes. Okay, thank you.